a cheeky five day trip to New Zealand in autumn, one and a half days of decent flying followed by quite a lot of walking following those red arrows and crossing over to the west coast. Just launched my first ever flight on the Enzo. Chris picked me up from the airport. We spent the night in the Wymac. There's a nice little hut there. And then the next morning we walked up from Arthur's Pass. You can hear the Kias. Now because of the down valley flow with the cloud pushing over the pass, it was really quite turbulent here and it was a struggle to get anywhere. Most of the time I was hovering below launch and uh, I've even got a couple of collapses which is apparently pretty unusual for a two line. Uh, yeah, tricky and I even had a little collapse before but I am lightly loaded so I can see Chris thinking about it. In the end I gave up and shot off downwind. I'm not sure how it's going to go but I think we'll have to you get five meters a second, but out of nowhere. There we go. Five point eight, something like that. Man, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty rough today, I'd say. Yeah, I thought these things weren't supposed to collapse, but we've got a thirty percent before, and I've had a few. In the uh, seventy-four k's an hour on the trim at the bottom end of the weight range. Far out. Supposed to be windy. And the uh, speed bar on, I'm just getting 86 k's an hour just then. further up the WiMAC there was a lot less wind and I landed to adjust the speed bar. Cool. Well, interesting flight. The intention was to fly as far as I could towards the Garden of Eden. Easily the highest I've been. So I want to go that way. Looking back you can see my top landing, the upper WiMAC Ariri and the pass that I was about to fly through. This air is crazy, I mean it's really nice. Going psycho. No, it's the wing. Still working, even though the valley's just coming into shadow. Yeah, not much time left. I want to get across this valley. They're like Coleridge's over the other side. That'd be a decent camping spot. I'm just a bit lower than it, but really, I want to. Get out of here and into the Rakara if I can. Pretty beautiful. Whoa. How good is this? That's the shot I wanted to set on the cliff. Oh. Well, that was a pretty good day. Good to have water, good to be high. I'll glide off there tomorrow and try and get across the Rakai. I think I should be able to. The wind died just as uh, I set up. This is my first forward launch on a two-liner and it was just amazing. It just boom, was there straight away. Oh, that was awesome. Unfortunately, the Cirrus had drifted in though, so the chances of actually getting anywhere were pretty slim. <laughs> Cool. Now there's a down valley flow here and some strange air. Yeah, that's stalled it. Anyway, Let's see if it's just first time we're lucky with these forward launches. Had a 
to be with these hunters before racing up the Matthias past this hut and up to Canyon Creek where I looked around but ended up having to spend the night in the bushes. Yeah, so no hut down there last night it was a bit disappointing. But no rain, so it wasn't bad. And yeah, there were stars during the night, so this cloud is kind of diurnal at the moment. God, it's so scary not knowing what's ahead. Because the further you go, the more you don't want to go back. Oh my god, it's a lot better than I thought, but it's not over yet. But, uh, I was looking at the photo I took from down there, and I can't even figure out where I am, let alone where I've got to go. Oh. oh man, now that's what I'm talking about when I say getting led up the garden path, just getting deeper and deeper into something you didn't really intend to get that deep. Just behind that cliff there was a, a chute which went down into the creek. That was my other option. The rain is slowly getting uh, heavier. This is a bit that I couldn't see. So the GPS is telling me to leave this creek and go to the west, not far to Matthias Pass. I was really happy to get to Fru Saddle Biv. On a good day you could glide just about to the road end on the west coast, but it was a full day's walk. Well I woke up every half hour last night, there's rain on the roof, and no flying, I'm going to have to walk out. Makes you wonder what it will be like further down. It's in the river, I'm pretty sudden. Oh, it's getting cold doing it. Oh. oh fuck! Well, that was a lucky landing. Oh, shit! What do you mean it's about slippery? Hoping to get to the through hut turn off soon. Have a quick look at the hut while I drop my pack. And would have been alright to fly. Yeah, I didn't know it would take this long to get down here. I mean, it's probably still a crowd up the top. Just upside down boulder. Scary place sometimes. Bloody hell. Pretty nice track. the night in this barn before hitching out the next day out to Arthur's Pass where I got to look with Chris through to John's and back to the airport.